Good evening, friends. Nice, relaxing Saturday evening. We're going to take a look at a typewriter. Not this one on my wall. That's a cool poster, though. Look, I got it, but the shipper folded it. Why? Why would you fold a poster? Look at all those creases. They folded it like an envelope. Could have rolled it up. It's ruined. Oh, well. Back onto the other things. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. This is a Fairbanks Ward Deluxe Portable. Now this machine is a console 1511 at its heart. And man, these consoles, I'm, I'm a fan. I wouldn't sleep on these consoles. They're just, there's something about them. They're, they're very royal, quiet, deluxe-like in their looks and in a little bit of their action, but it just has so much better feel on the key press. It's just, it's snappy and pillowy and it has a great inertia to it and it just feels right to me. This is this is what I like in a keyboard, in a key feel, what this console gives me right here. So this is gonna be a keeper for me because I found one that I liked. So this is it. I might get a different color. I might get a true console machine. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of this Fairbanks Ward branding for America. I'd rather it just say console. You know, I, I enjoy the original console logo, but it is what it is. It's the stone gray crinkle finish, but they have them in different colors too. And hopefully one day I can find one um, in a better color than gray, because <laughs> I'm not a big fan of drab type. Or, if you guys noticed my my other machines, I'm not a fan of the the boring colors, the plain old planes. So anyway, this is the Fairbanks Ward. It's a segment shifted machine. Um, it's got a magic margin system, just like the Royal QDLs, and this folds back, and you can see the, it's almost the same exact as the Royal system in the QDLs. But this thing is, man, this is a nice machine. It just feels nice. It feels like, feels like home. It's got a key set tabulator right here in the front. Backspace on the right, just how I like it. Um, yeah, let's let's type on this thing. See if we can get a little sample going without shutting the camera off. Getting it into the tripod. Let's see here. Did we do it? All right. We didn't lose the video like the last one. So uh, over the shoulder test. Here we go. This platen's pretty nice. It's soft still, but I'm still going to use two sheets of paper on this one. Speed rollers could be better, a little loose on the left, but yeah, let's, already off to a great start. Hmm. Nice print quality, the line is straight. This ink ribbon is a little dry. I'm short on ribbons right now, so it's the best that I got. But man, it for a Pica, is this Pica? Nope, it's an Elite machine. Um, th the letters seem a little bit big for an Elite machine, you know? It's not like the super tiny, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a font guy or a typeface guy. I just know what I like, and this is what I like. This, oops, is what I like. This, this is the best this machine can get for now. Mm. This has such a nice feel to it. I think I am going to eat this one. Yeah. The quick brown box. Jumps over the laziest red dogs. I don't like doing those basic sentences, you know. Just, just type, just type whatever. But anyway, yeah, this is the Fairbanks Ward. Very cool machine. Let's throw it on red for a second. This is the red setting, and it works a charm too. Can you see that? Cool, very nice. Let's take a look close up in here. Get this out of the tripod. Let's see. Yeah, a couple typos, but you know what? I'm sitting off to the side because I got my tripod in the way. Yeah, I really do like this machine. I don't know the year or the serial number. This is kind of an impromptu little thing I did setting up just to just to show off this little thing. 
yeah console 1511 buy the console machine guys it's, it's fun it's good it's nice it's good for you it's good for the health hot rod typewriter company have a good weekend Fairbanks Ward.